Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. Well, today's second video, day 10, will take us to the 2nd of June. And we'll be out at setting out beyond that with the search FS and ECM on Souls. We're around complete. So, look at the FSC2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, which goes into the second half of June. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. And we're going to have a look at the Jubilee weekend uh, for you with our second uh, update. For the exciting bank holiday weekend, and that will be coming up this evening. So, probably about 7 ish, I would have thought, this evening. Um, so, we'll see you then uh, for that one. Uh, so, please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And I uh, hope you're having a lovely, lovely Monday as well. By the way. Right, so should we start the video then? Uh, we're going to begin by having a look at central intention. CT is currently standing at 13.6, which is 2.8 degrees, deep, 3 degrees above average. Average that is provisional to yesterday to the 22nd of May. It's been a warm May and a warm spring so far. Uh, probably as high as it's going to get, I think. I don't think you can get any higher than that. It will gradually start to tick down over the final week of the month, I would have thought. Reason why is uh, what we see here on the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensemble for the next two weeks. Uh, we're at sulfur today, so the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for sulfur. And you'll see that we're around average at the moment. Actually, going to be a little bit below average over the next couple of days. And really, through this last week of May, there's no sign that we go back to the warm weather that we have. Uh, you know, earlier on in the month. So we're hovering around to just ever so slightly below average with the upper air temperatures over the uh, next week. So there's a bit of a warming trend still showing up through the first week of June. But we have lots of warm outliers, those hot outliers that are going to 15 degrees at 800 kPa. Uh, through the first week of June. They've gone now. Um, so we're probably going to have to start, start scaling back our ideas about sort of early June heat waves and whatnot. It may get warmer, definitely, through the first week of, uh, of June. But, um, yeah, you know, the GFS has backed, and the ensembles have backed off from that idea of, uh, of the heat wave through the early, earlier part of June. Uh, Precipitation-wise, it's actually going to be some showy rain over the next few days. So we go drier towards the end of the week and the weekend. But through the first week of June, you'll notice there are some pretty big precipitation spikes showing up. So it might actually be turning wetter through the first week of June, which, of course, is covering bank holiday uh, periods as well. Uh, so that could be thunder. So it might be uh, uh, outbreaks of heavy rain. Difficult to know uh, this far out. Um, but it look a little bit wet, I have to say, through, through the first week of June. Not really what want to be seeing um, at the moment. But it is extended, so that's the uh, you know, same grace. It is, it is unreliable. Um, but, um, but yeah, you know, it does look a little bit on the wet side, I have to say that. Our temperature anomalies from the 23rd to the 31st of May are coming out below average. Cooler than average uh, final weeks of the month. Wow, wow, wow. Been a while since we've seen that. And precipitation anomalies from the uh, uh, anomalies um, even from the 23rd to the 31st of May are uh, um, a little bit drier than normal. So it's still reasonably dry through the last week of May, but definitely turning quite a bit cooler. Latest wind from that from Earth, no school. Dark next shows up bringing the wind from off the Atlantic Ocean today. Uh, and uh, the air is actually originating from like, the North Atlantic as well. So um, it is feeling a little bit cooler and fresher uh, across the country right now. OK, let's go through the chart data then. Miss the UK Met Euro is looking for midnight on Thursday. High pressure to south, low pressure to the north. In a westerly flow, more shadow rain into the north. Then high pressure reaches in across the country as it goes through into the weekend. That will bring a lot of dry weather with it. But eventually, high pressure pushes, uh, pushes north as you go into the early part of the next week. This is Monday next week, week today, uh, 30th of May. And that high pressure is going a long way north then. Uh, centering around uh, sort of Iceland and uh, that kind of area, and begin to put in like a cooler, um, probably quite cloudy, sort of north northeasterly type winds. So um, it is mainly dry, you know, the ridge is building down through the country, but definitely bringing cooler air from like the north and from the northeast with that one. Icon is looking like this uh, for Thursday with high pressure, south low pressure to the north. We're bringing showery bursts into northern and northwestern parts of the country. Over the weekend, the high pressure reaches in from off the ice. It does turn us drier, but we're on the cool side of the ridge, bringing down like a bit of a north or northeasterly wind. 
However, by this time next week, high pressure is stripping southwards again and starting to allow some slightly milder air back in from off the Atlantic. So nowhere near uh, the extent of, of, of blocking, of northern blocking with ICOM for, for next Monday is like the, the UK Met show. That's UK Met. Uh, where I haven't taken that high pressure you know, a long way north, um, I can't get that high pressure nowhere near as far north. So even as early as like the beginning of next week, there is a lot of uncertainty still within moral output, say nothing of like the uh, Jubilee weekend. Uh, GFS Midnight Run is looking like that. So low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south on Thursday, bringing a showery westerly wind to northern areas in particular. Then the high pressure builds in front of the Atlantic at the end of the week and into the weekend. Uh, turning us mainly dry, but on the cool side of a ridge, we're pulling in a north northeast wind, so it's not going to be a heat wave over the weekend. It will feel pleasant in the main sunshine because it has so much strength to it at the moment, but it is quite a cool position for that area of high pressure. And um, by the beginning of next week, very much in line with what the UK Met is showing, really, the high pressure centre around Iceland, they're pulling in this uh, north northeast wind, which will be quite cool and cloudy uh, northeast as well, probably. Heading up toward day 10, uh, we keep high pressure to our north. Lower pressure trying to move up from Biscay, though. So this is the third day of the bank holiday weekend. This is 2nd of June. Um, this is like the spring bank holiday Thursday, I suppose uh, it would be. Um, so we bring some warmer air in from the east-southeast, but this low pressure would be threatening heavy rain, maybe thunderstorms into southern areas. And um, that is uh, Friday the 3rd of June, so that's like the Jubilee Day. Uh, that's the Jubilee Bank holiday, Friday, 3rd of June. And uh, low pressure, you'll notice, is like close to the country. So at uh, the very least, there will be the risk of showery bursts of rain uh, with that, maybe even a bit of fun. It doesn't look all that inspiring. I have to say. However, things will cover a little bit later on through the weekend as this ridge starts to build through the country. So that would start to turn drier and a little bit warmer over the uh, over the Van Collie weekend. But um, we move on into... So for some reason that's not updated. What is the matter updating? Uh, so that's yesterday. Right, we'll forget that. Don't worry about that. We'll go to that. So that's how you end up with the <laughs> GFS Midnight Run. I don't know why that chart is still showing yesterday. It isn't refreshing. That's strange. Um, never mind. Uh, we end up... Um, never mind. That, forget that happened. We end up by Wednesday the 8th of June uh, with the Midnight GFS Run. That is today's uh, Midnight GFS Run. Looking like that with low pressure breaking through the country bringing those... Um, um, showery bursts of rain and uh, looking really quite wet and unsettled. Um, so definitely a deterioration to wetter conditions through uh, f through um, uh, through uh, the first week of June with that. Right, we have a 6 Z uh, looking like this. High pressure south, low pressure north, bringing the wind from a westerly flow on Thursday. That'll be a showery westerly and then high pressure reaching in from off the Atlantic, telling us mainly dry uh, with that. But uh, we are on the cool side of the ridge, so it's not going to be a heat wave. Winds are coming in from a north to rather northeasterly direction. We push on uh, through the rest of next week, and uh, with this one, we've got high pressure reaching down into the country from the north. So that's uh, Thursday, 2nd of June. That's the first day of the long weekend. This time, we're looking uh, dry and not overly warm, bringing the wind from off the North Sea. Warmest weather with that is going to be in the west, in the east, probably a little bit on the coolness cloud side, but it is mainly dry. The high pressure dominates the weather, and that high pressure carries on dominates the weather through the entire weekend. Albeit, yes, we are bringing in the wind from a north northeast direction, so not going to be a heat wave. It will be rather on the cool side, especially for southern and eastern areas. Uh, maybe even some showers coming off the North Sea into those eastern counties, but at least there's a lot of dry weather on off. It doesn't turn unsettled until we get to the very end of the GFS 6 then, which then places a trough of road pressure over the country and um, and returning unsettled then. What's going on there, of course, uh, is that we've got the Northern Blocking. This is what I talk about with Northern Blocking in the summer. We get high pressure setting up in the Northern latitudes, and usually you'll start getting a trough of low pressure developing underneath it into the North Atlantic and Northern Western parts of Europe. That's a classic example 
uh, of that. If you enjoyed the video, please give a smash the like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what's going on all of our videos. Thank you so much everyone. Um, for doing this, GM, uh, again, on Thursday, if I press the South, low pressure north, we're going to have rather showery, Westy type flow. Over weekend, high pressure, ridges in from off the Atlantic, but we're on the cool side of that ridge, bringing in the wind from rather a northerly direction. However, it will still feel quite pleasant in the May sunshine. Only next week, we'll have that high pressure wave to our north and northwest, trough low pressure in Scandinavia, we're pulling down a cool north to northeasterly wind. And we get up towards day 10, and we look like that high pressure then is uh, over and to the north of the country, lower pressure to the south. We're bringing the wind from an east to northeast direction for the first day of the, uh, of the long weekend, Bank Holiday weekend. And um, that might even threaten some showers into southern areas. Uh, it will be mainly dry up in the north. It's quite a cool wind direction as well with the air coming in and the wind coming in from off the North Sea. Suffice to say, if these charts were verifying in the middle of winter, we would be getting very, very excited if this was December rather than uh, June with the high pressure you know, in these areas, we would be, you know, starting to get quite excited about cold east winds <laughs> and snow and whatnot. But uh, these sort of charts never seem to turn up in the winter, or, or very rarely do they, anyway. Uh, East WF uh, looks like this. So, uh, on Thursday, we've got showery westerly. It's low pressure north. High pressure is to the south. On Friday and into the weekend, high pressure ridging in from off the Atlantic, turning us dry, but pulling in these cooler north to northeasterly winds. And then early, early next week, that high pressure pushing further north was opening the door to a proper northeasterly. That will start to bring cooler air in from off the Atlantic and also probably quite a lot of crowd, maybe some showers coming in as well if there are troughs uh, within the flow. And then up to day 10, the high pressure tends to centre itself around Iceland and Greenland, and we pull down more of a northerly wind. Still quite cool, if I show the upper air temperatures, looking, you know, cool. Uh, not cold, because it's June, rather than uh, December, but certainly looking quite cool. And um, there's a lot of dry weather, so in the, in the early June sunshine, it probably doesn't feel too bad, but it is a little bit on the chilly side with that. And uh, for northern east areas, there might even be some showers coming through as well. This is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, East End run from tomatoshow.com. We've got wet weather around in the next 24 hours. Things will start to dry out, though, later on in the week as the high pressure builds in from uh, off the Atlantic. When you're going to the north over the weekend, they'll bring in showers into northern and eastern areas in particular. That looked quite wet there on the 29th of May. A uh, heavy shower pushing down on that northerly wind uh, sort of Sunday into Monday next week. Uh, and then further shower, particularly affecting northern and eastern areas. Yes, there is a little bit of winchiness in those showers. You'll notice there, because the far north of Scotland, that's the 1st of June. The wintry showers, uh, you know, a few uh, splotches of green turning up there. That's on top of Scottish mountains, of course, but it's quite chilly northerly, but we're pulling in there uh, around uh, day 10. These will be up on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, which will get us to the 2nd of June from the Icelandic Met Office. 25 members of the ECM Ensemble have high pressure to our west and to our northwest. Low pressure is to our east and south east, so we're bringing them in from a northerly or northeasterly direction. So quite cool, reasonably dry, but some showers in the east, but main things are quite cool. 13, again with high pressure blocking within high latitudes around Iceland and going north of that. Uh, trough of low pressure is to the east, so we're pulling in a little bit more of a northeast with that, and the trough of low pressure closer to the east could bring some showers. And then 13 just here, again with high pressure away, to our north and northwest, and this is actually bringing in low pressure from the south, so that begins to turn quite wet into southern parts of the country. That one looks a little bit ominous. Um, they're all going for some degree of high pressure to be to the north and northwest, so, so not great news that for the long weekend. And then in two weeks' time, uh, these are the options that we've got, getting us to the 7th of June. 22 members of the ECM Ensemble have a Mid-Atlantic Ridge up towards Greenland, 
try for low pressure to our uh, east. That's going to bring in like a cool northerly wind. Will be cool and showering. 18 will have high pressure just to our west. It will be mainly dry, but again, a little bit on the cool side with the wind direction. And then 11 looking really bad. Uh, <laughs> it has to be said with top of low pressure stuck right over top of the country. Uh, and so that's going to be quite a wet and unsettled scenario. These charts aren't looking all that great, I have to say, for June, for the first week of June now. Gone is that idea uh, of, uh, <laughs> of an early June heat wave, and um, either cool and dry, or maybe even cool and wet, um, is like what's being hinted at here, I think. Right, so that's lead to you finally, and then we're done. So it's a 500 mil of our high tsunamis broken down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 23rd to 29th of May. The coming week will have the high pressure out to the west. The low pressure will be to our north and northeast. Winds will be coming in from the west to northwest. It's so rather showery and a little bit on the cool side there. Week 2 will be the 30th of May to 5th of June. High pressure just to our west and northwest. Low pressure to our east. Winds are coming in from a northerly direction. So probably quite cool, but at least it will be reasonably dry close to that area of high pressure. Week 3 will be the 6th to the 12th of June. The high pressure goes further away to the northwest. So winds still coming in from a north northeasterly direction. With that, maybe hinting at some lower pressure to our south and east as well. That might bring some wet weather. And then uh, week four will be the 13th to the 19th of June. Let's highlight it. High pressure then reaches up from the southwest. So that's turning dry. Oh, well, it's saying dry. Uh, and uh, it's becoming warmer as well as the wind swing into the uh, south to southwest uh, with that probably. Temperature anomalies for week one from the 23rd to 29th of May are close to average in most parts of the country. Week two actually goes a little bit cooler than average. This is the 30th of May to the 5th of June, slightly below average uh, with the temperature anomaly there. Week three is going to be the 6th to the 12th of June. Uh, going to be milder than average then out to our west. And by week four, all areas seen recovery in temperatures, 13th to 19th of June going milder than uh, average. Uh, I haven't got precipitation up, but I should get that up for you as well. So week one, precipitation uh, looks like that. It's uh, largely a dry week coming up. And week two is also quite dry as well. So 30th of May to 5th of June, although it goes cooler, at least we do hang on to dry weather. So not a washout over the long weekend. Week three... Looks like they're still rather on the drier side from the 6th through to the 12th of uh, June. Although it's a weekly signal, and then no signal by the time you get through to week 4, which is the 13th to the 19th of June. We've lost the signal then. Right, we're done. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then please don't smash the like button. Make sure to sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about Gals Weather. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, the amount. As I said, we just need to put on around 10 subscribers now to get to 13.4k. So we are getting ever, ever closer to 13,400 subscribers and of course our ultimate target is going to be 14,000 subscribers I think it'll take us a while to get there but uh, 13.4k is, is the next sort of mini target and uh, uh, yeah so no, so please um, please give us a sub thank you so much uh, for doing that right so we're going to be back later on with a detailed look at the uh, long weekend you'll have gathered from all of this there has been like a deterioration within the model output for the bank holiday weekend. Gone is that idea of, like, an, uh, a, 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 a heat wave. And uh, we're either, I think, at the moment, anyway, it could change, of course. It's still a long way off this. But we're either, at the moment, looking at uh, quite, a, quite a cool but dry, and um, I suppose rather cloudy, uh, weekend, or or we might be looking at something worse than that. But anyway, we will have a look in the uh, in, in our latest update this evening. So that'll be coming up around seven this evening, and uh, we'll have a detailed uh, look at the uh, at the jubilee weekend then. 
Just say we're coming up tomorrow. We'll have a 6 a.m. upload. We'll have the ECMWF uh, 30 day slash six weeks look ahead uh, for the UK, the rest of Europe, and a change of 14 there as well. So plenty of co uh, content coming up to tomorrow. Um, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.